Moon covered about 93% of the sun today. Yeah, we'll continue our live team coverage with Carly Griffith, who took in the eclipse today with students at St. Timothy's. But first, let's check in with our Kristen Ketchell at Moorhead Planetarium. Kristen. It was a really awesome day here, Sean and Sharon. The crowd has started to wind down here at Moorhead Planetarium, but earlier this afternoon, the area was filled with people watching in excitement as the moon covered the sun. <laughs> Thousands of people gathered at Moorhead Planetarium Monday afternoon for a front row seat to view the eclipse. And despite the hot temperatures, people were determined to get the best view possible. Well, we were looking for a place that had some activity. They announced that they had like some food trucks around and that there would be plenty of people out. It was an open area. North Carolina is a state of trees, so we wanted to make sure we can find a place where we can actually get a good feeling of it. The young and old alike claim their spot near the sundial outside the planetarium for a chance to witness the historic event. It only happens once in a lifetime almost. So that's what, what I think would, will cause uh, a big crowd like we have today. And everyone here described the experience as one they will never forget. Amazing. <laughs> like, the sun, I can't believe that the moon got half, like, halfway in, in the sun and then just goes into a frown. Like, mmm. <laughs> Well, it got a lot dimmer than I thought it would. It's not completely dark, though, but it's still exciting. It looks like there's a filter everywhere, and it got a lot cooler. It's really nice. So the director of the planetarium, I spoke with him earlier, and he estimated that about 5,000 people were going to be here watching the eclipse from Moorhead. And with all of the events and activities going on here, I think that this was definitely the place to be if you were staying in central North Carolina. So I'm live in Chapel Hill. I'm Kristen Ketchell. Let's send things over to Carly Griffin.